Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefan and it's Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough video. We're still in Act 3 and this time we're doing a step that is in the Avenge the Iron Hands side quest which does involve the Iron Hands hideout and much more. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Baldur's Gate 3 videos like this. Do not forget to hit no case will be updated more. Last video we uh, completed the uh, Find the Letters quest. That was simple. Then we uh, fought at the uh, brothel against the newly uh, born Mind Flayer. Speaking of that, there's another one here behind this uh, building. We're going to go end it right now. Let's uh, go ahead and do some exploring. So what we're going to uh, do first is break and entering. Let's stay right. You know what to do. So anyways, uh, coming up is an encounter. It's a Mind Flayer. A little bit weaker than the other ones we face. Because it's newly born. Now if you take in the, I think, Astral Tadpole, there's a brain for you to consume. Yeah, I think this game, if you uh, do that route, yeah, you're going to have to start eating brains. Me, I didn't go the full route on that. Anyways, I'm going to go inside, get ready to kill this newly born Mind Flayer because it's part of the cult. Yeah, cultists must die in this game. So let's go ahead and kill this uh, fool, which is going to be a very easy fight. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn, unattended. How fortunate. What? No! I've had so little time! With finesse. Now, that is a very interesting background note. So, yeah, anyways, let's check. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I think I did consume the brain. So, still, let me uh, make sure everything's all right before I do uh, go on. So, anyways, our uh, next step will be, after I'm done exploring here, is, of course, you uh, guessed it, Steron's Quest. There's a nice update. Make sure you have a Steron with you. I have a Steron with me. My uh, favorite rogue in the entire uh, party. Well, the only rogue, but still. I like him. Very useful. And yeah, I do need to get him to uh, start feeding off of people. Not mind flares, I'm just saying. He needs to eat fresh blood. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and check. Nothing else is there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk to some people on the way, uh, of course, to the quest uh, update. I should say for Saron. So, you uh, go this direction. There's a camp. I think it's uh, Monster Hunters. Yeah, that camp. I accidentally uh, killed one of them. I'm just checking now. Okay, nothing else is there. Good thing tier three's locked out. I want that locked out big time. So there's gonna be a couple I'm gonna go ahead and talk to. Look like they are really relaxing. I wonder why. Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. I'm guessing they're thinking, okay, the world's ending. We'll just spend our time here. Uh, we're going to save the world, everyone. You heard me right. Or attempt to save it. At least one of us will uh, die trying. If that's the case, let's see here. Nice knowing you, Lizel. Well, hey, she's probably going to live, so I don't know who's going to die or so. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and talk to uh, this NPC. And if we do what this NPC says, we have a possible allies, which I'm going to definitely take full advantage of. I'm going to get much allies as I uh, can in this act. 
Rechtei hathran rust. Frey, vald isk durovna. Frey, vald isk ablast. He clearly walked into some kind of ceremony, but it's nothing that you recognize. You do recognize the language, however. These people are Gur, a tribe of monster hunters, just like the one you met in the Hag Swamp. Im orak, nete, krasin, netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you, from me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Do not stand here and wait. Kazador must be destroyed. With haste. So, looks like we have our uh, target. Yeah, Asteron's target. So, we kill the fool, and that should definitely uh, do it. Ooh, what did we uh, find here? Let's check this out. Wait a second. What's that cart? Look like some uh, villagers or people looted it up. That's bad. Starving folk tend not to. <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. What's up for discussion? We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Back off! I found these apples first. There are some savages in this town. I always want to say it. That's from the Clerks 1 movie. Well, I should say there are some savages in Rivington. Yeah, that's right, everyone. Some savages. Only uh, place we have left now is to find the Iron Hand hideout. Okay, we're back at the, uh, I think, brothel uh, waypoint. So our next stop will be exactly, you uh, guessed it. We're going to find a way to uh, get to our Iron Hand uh, gnome's friend. I should say deep gnomes. Yeah, I got to correct myself on that.
there's a huge uh, difference. There's rock gnomes. They're your regular gnomes on the surface. There's your deep gnomes, who are the underdark type of ones. They're very cool, usually uh, most of the time friendly. Uh, this bunch, uh, it depends. If we help them out, they're really friendly. If not, yeah, they're probably hostile, but still. We're going to help them out. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Whoa, we found the entrance. That is good. I just guessed it. I was climbing down, trying to get some loot, and look what we uh, found. We'll do some exploring uh, later on, but for now, let's go on in. Welcome to the Iron Hand Deep Gnomes hideout. This is where they're hiding exactly. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to go ahead and talk to everyone. If there's a shop, I'll briefly uh, update everybody uh, on uh, what is definitely going on here. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Two days just to get hold of a still watcher optic module. And for what? Waste of time we don't have. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. It looks like definitely everybody made it from the prison break. And, of course, I should say Act 1. Oh, wow, there's some uh, good stuff here. Oh, these are not bad at all. I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, test some things out, make sure they're good. Uh, these gloves are not bad, but the sleight of hands I have is much better, which is plus 2. I have a cloak to counteract uh, that, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, definitely uh, finish some shopping and do some more exploring. Now let me get back to it. It stopped. But it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? There's something underneath the city. Inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. More shaking. The stone here shouldn't be so loud. You'll be getting a mouthful of sparks at this rate. Unless you've got any decent metal on you, I'm not interested. You're here. Good luck. This damn city's more treacherous than the Underdark. Huh? You look different when you're not trying to talk someone down from igniting a barrel of rune powder. Chucky questions at Walbrun. That's his job. I can make time for chatter after you know what's what. Still trying to calm down a bit. Talk to Wilbrun, would you? Ah, there you are. Good. We need to strategize. Wilbrun is planning something. Uh, lots of moving parts. Uh, I'm still trying to suss the details myself. Uh, some. But what he has planned is unthinkable. Maybe you can help him see sense. Someone has to. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. 
I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and boom. Problem solved. Walbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Dear. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Neither will I, darling. 
At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. So Bell's Chosen is a doppelganger. I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin. He's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. How can I help? A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians? They are inventors, just like us. The snickety and self-important, too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Please, speak to them before you do anything. They deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces, don't you think? That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. Gondians respond well to reason, so when you meet them, be reasonable. This is going to be a very happy update and a very concerning update as well. First of all, I am glad the Boots of uh, Speed Lady, she's alive, and the Bomb Lady is alive. I am also gl glad that Brackus Root is alive. Warburn wants me to kill all, including the Gondonians, when I'm taking out the Steel Watch. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to find a peaceful solution to get them free. The Steel Watch, on the other hand, it has to uh, go. Yeah, I'm turning that Steel Watch in a pile of rubble. Scrap metal, everyone. You heard me right. Then I'm going to go ahead and sell it to a merchant who's in the Fallout 4 or something like that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and explore more of this area before I do end the video. And uh, once I'm done exploring, I'm going to get to the uh, next area. Yeah, that'll be for uh, next time, that next area. But still... Good idea to explore. If there's any bodies, go ahead and, of course, speak with the dead. That's all I'm going to go ahead and say. I'm going to be doing that quite a bit from here on out. So, anyways, let's see. Nothing else is there. Oh, wow, wow, wow. We're going to get some uh, loot and such. Hopefully, we get more. Hopefully, our survival skills will kick off like crazy. Oh, wait. There is a dead body. Let's speak with the dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Man, buying heirlooms, vulture, challenged him. Brothers died on the road. Man tried to buy. None pushed, felt bones break, 
darkness. Garrod. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. There we uh, go. We spoke with the dead. Oh, wow. Let's see here. One piece of gold. Total of two pieces of gold I could get, possibly. Let's uh, jump on down. Yep, yeah, I mean climb on down. Let's uh, check this way. We'll check the beach. I look like that beach we cannot reach anywhere else, so that must be a background thing. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, I did an epic fell on that. I got three more characters. Don't worry. And look at that. Jahira and, of course, Asteron found what we need. Thank you two very much. That was good teamwork. This is a very nice team. I have Jahira in the party for obvious reasons. I'm still trying to get her approval ring up. Let's uh, grab this uh, too as well. And uh, there we go. Let's see what else we're going to get to. Okay, nothing else is uh, there. I'm just going to go ahead and check uh, this uh, direction. And uh, let me uh, see. Let's uh, keep on uh, going. And let's look. Uh, nothing else is there. All right. Yeah, let's do some more uh, digging, shall we? And uh, there we go. And there. Let's see what else I could definitely uh, dig up at this uh, very time. And let's see. Oh, wow, wow. Scroll of Detect Thoughts. That's going to probably be very useful. I'll give you that. And I'll take that as well. Well, uh, I think I'm almost done exploring. I'm going to go ahead and just use the rest of my Lay on Hands on a Steron. Since I am a Paladin, I'll be fine with uh, healing potions and such. Alchemy has been uh, very friendly to me lately. So, yeah, I'll rely on some potions. And, yes, alchemy is very powerful in this uh, game if you know how to use it right. Uh, let me make sure I did cover this area before I do end the video by uh, looking at the map. Okay, that's the cave from the uh, Investigate the Temple Murders. So, let me uh, make sure. Okay, nothing else is there. So, we got one more area to cover, and that should uh, do it. Anyways, here's a recap for this uh, video, everyone. So, first thing I uh, did was went inside the windmill. Killed a newly born Mind Flayer there. That was fun. Made a nice alliance uh, with Asteron with the Monster Hunters. So we got to go after Asteron's master. That's going to be a target in the future. Met with the Iron Hand Deep Gnomes. So they want us to, of course, uh, blow up the Steel Watch, which I am definitely going to do in the far future. And we finally arrive here. In the next Bars Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, we're going to pick a side in a Guild War. This is it for my Bar's Gate 3 PC walkthrough, Act 3, Avenge the Iron Hand Gnome's uh, side quest, Iron Hand hideout video. This is Lorfant signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.